Jacqueline Poulain was wont to grow in age as human people were, in fact, wont to do. It happened regardless because of biological imperative within the body. Jacqueline fancied this a wonderful work of the grand creator, the grand watermelon, the guardian watchtower watermelon, his fashioning of human life, a great mystery held by the secret powers of those beyond. And as he grew in age and sort of visited Jaunty in Southern Tamar and Jaunty Bearhugger, at a certain point who had returned from the Stepping Stone Islands with Noana Nalaloko, they were, uh, they were in the outer regions of their city, the town which Jaunty resided in, Parangash, and, uh, Enjoying out in the makeshift field which had been de-rocked and de-grassed, and which was sort of rock and gravel covering with painted rectangle on it with a halfway point and posts at either end, twin posts at either end. They were on the sidelines of this field and watching the ewes of Parangash play football, this thing which Gradzanak, the, uh, one of the doomsays who had come to the world of Ola Milan to teach lessons and judgment upon Ola Milan in the grand scheme of the greater, as it was called, universe. They were to learn lessons about how to be proper citizens of the universe, as it were, citizens of life. And uh, one of that was getting healthy and staying fit. Jacqueline thought that was an amusing enough idea. His father would probably ridicule that as buggery and nonsense because, you know, he had a fitness mentality with his cutting off he of heads when and where he could. But just joking, of course, he was. Everyone who knew Togura Plan knew he had a bawdy since a few mad times. But they were watching the football and um, enjoying this health kick which was coming over the Cameron and over Ola Milan and throughout the Sunlight Sea areas and uh, they were commenting blokish sort of comments and they were drinking a bit of beer and enjoying Watchtower Company and Watchtower Fellowship. Uh, at, the, at that moment, the great grand guarding watchtower was not the, the center of their thoughts, and their morality index was sort of on a relaxed state just at that present time as they were chilling out and enjoying the footy. Yet later on that week, as they attended a service in town, and the, the preacher of the values of the watchtower preached away, pointing out that this football might be good indeed for the health, but it could be a form of escapism which kept one misfocused on the actual point of what it was all about. Jacqueline searched his conscience and had a few convictions, but he felt he would probably enjoy football regardless, yet keep in mind his divine obligations also. So he enjoyed time in this new world which seemed to be emerging from darkness, as it were, with strange new ways and strange new lore involved with the things going on. Where it went, maybe it was indeed going to Babel, to Babylon, some sort of strange mystery beast at the end of it all. But of that mystery, only time would tell.